Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is Pork Brains with Milk Gravy. So yeah, Pork Brains with Milk Gravy. Now this is kind of a milestone product in terms of reviewing food. This is something I know a lot of other YouTubers have already covered, so there's not going to be anything completely novel about this video. However, I haven't eaten these before, so you'll get my honest opinion, that's for sure. There's a lot of talk about this on the internet, obviously, and this is, I think, the probably the last canned brand of pork brains. I think there used to be lots of others, and this is now the last remaining brand of pork brains. Made in the USA, tiny little can. It's a five ounce can, that's 142 grams. And it looks like the serving suggestion is to serve it on top of scrambled eggs, which is what we'll do today. So ingredients, pork brains, milk, less than 2% water, cornstarch, salt, sodium nitrite. Made by Boone Brands in Sanford, North Carolina. Nutrition facts, serving size two thirds of a cup. So that's one can. So this is one serving in this can. Calories 140, that's not bad. Fat calories 45. And then nutrition breakdown. For some reason they've done cholesterol in milligrams. I guess that must be convention. But there is three, 3,190 milligrams. So three grams of cholesterol in a serving. Total fat, five grams. Sodium, half a gram. Saturated fat, 13%. Not a significant source of fiber and sugars. Okay. Well, not an awful lot else we can say about this other than let's get it open and have a look at what we're dealing with. So, it's a pull tab can, but you know me in pull tab cans. I'm going to give the usual can opener a rest today because I've got a brand new one. I've got the OXO Softworks Smooth Edge can opener and I bought this from TK Maxx for £10. So let's see if this one does the job. So notionally this is a can opener which clamps onto the side of the can thusly. A lot of people tell me that this one does the same but it doesn't and cuts through the crimp here and gives us a can that has no sharp edges at all. Let's give it a try. So apparently we just place this against the edge of the can like so. Actually I'm not sure this is going to work because I think the pull tab is going to interfere with all of these things. So we're going to have to try this out another day on a different can. Can't open the bottom of this can because it's a pressed aluminium can. So, oh well, another day for the OXO good grips then. This can opener, because it clamps onto the side of the can, will open it. There we go. Product inside is revealed. So, so inside the can we've got a kind of really weird looking pink liquid and when we tip it a little bit we can see lumps and of course you know what those lumps are. Let's have a sniff. Okay, it smells just like pretty much any old canned meat product. It smells, well, I've got to say it smells a little bit like cat food. It smells... It smells a bit like pork luncheon meat, in all honesty. Uh, it's got a bit of a different tang to it. I guess that's probably the milk, but it doesn't smell unpleasant or anything like that. It just smells like canned meat. So let's have a look and see what's in the can. So there we go. So mm, pinkish lumps of stuff. And that stuff is brain. Let's see if we can see something that's kind of recognizably brain. Yeah, that looks pretty brainy, doesn't it? So. Oh, I'm not liking the fact that this has got weird stringy bits in it. Okay. Well, here's the thing. This is not meant to be eaten directly out of the can, and I'm not going to sit here and eat a whole bowl of pork brains straight out of the can. However, I think I would be neglecting my duties 
on weird stuff in a can. If I didn't taste just a little bit as it is, we are going to take it downstairs and cook it in scrambled eggs. And we'll see how we get on with that. But first, let's just have a little taste of pork brains. Just this little piece here. Here we go. Okay, very fatty. Texture like soft luncheon meat. So just like spam, but softer. Flavor, really mild and quite indistinct. Obviously porky sort of meaty flavor, but actually quite mild and inoffensive. So kind of got the texture of congealed pork fat. So like if you'd poured the fat off a roast, a piece of roast pork and set it in the fridge, it's got that kind of set pork fat texture to it. And really that's all there is to say about this. It doesn't actually have a great deal of flavor of its own, um, but it has quite a lot of fat in it by the taste. And it's just a softish sort of meaty texture. Not especially meaty, I'm gonna say. More fatty than meaty. Anyway, look, that piece looks really brainy, doesn't it? You can see the little, well, the texture of a, of a brain there. Okay, let's get this to the kitchen and we're gonna cook it up with some scrambled eggs. Okay, a little bit of butter. We'll just melt that in a frying pan. Okay, now this is cooking quite fast and I do want the pork brains to warm through sufficiently. So now off the heat and we're going to add in some of this pork brains. Now I'm not going to put the whole lot in there because I've only actually scrambled two eggs here. Now when I've seen other people cooking this, they have tipped in the whole can, including all the gravy. Now, I, th I just happen to think that's probably gonna make the scrambled eggs go a bit sloppy. So, I'm gonna heat here. Without that, and I will add a little bit of that gravy right at the end. Let's break up these pieces a bit so they warm through quicker. Okay, and that's probably about done. So just gonna add in a tiny bit of that milk gravy. And just allow that to warm through. And I'd say we're done. So let's get that on the plate, back to the studio and give it a taste. Okay, so pork brains in milk gravy, so with scrambled eggs. Now, the texture has gone a bit softer. That's to be expected. This is mostly pork fat, after all. Let's give it a try. There we go. Pork brains with scrambled egg. So, just having a smell of that, it, it does actually have quite a distinctive aroma that I can't quite put my finger on. It's like nothing I've ever actually smelt before. Okay, so when it's cooked like that, almost impossible to distinguish the texture of scrambled eggs versus pork brains. Very, very similar textures. I'm trying to be as fair as I can to this product because obviously a lot of people probably love this. Um, I'm not really loving this. It's all right. It's very mild tasting. It's definitely got a, a canned meat flavor to it. But yeah, 
it's it's not offensive it's just actually rather soft and fatty it's probably the only objection I've got to it so I'll have a few more mouthfuls of this probably before I give up completely but that was interesting I guess so there we go not my favorite weird stuff in a can I'm gonna say not offensive but just not my favorite but glad to have tried it nonetheless so just to note this product is not available in the UK in the shops anyway I had to import this from the United States I bought it on eBay and the total including shipping was nearly 20 pounds for this little can so that was pork brains with milk gravy weird stuff in a can on atomic shrimp thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon Thank you.